Hi, I'm Dr. Kuang Zhang. I will introduce you the recent result of my group, titled Anomalous Three-Dimensional Refraction in Microwave Region by Offsetting High Efficiency Metalized with Phase Discontinuities in Orthogonal Directions. By introducing abrupt phase changes, phase accumulation in the traditional lens can be substituted by phase discontinuities on the interface. However, the transmission type metalized faces the challenge of extremely low conversion efficiency. The maximum efficiency achieved was only a few percent, although it was predicted theoretically that the maximum attainable cross coupling is 25%. So, in this paper, we propose and demonstrate an often seen planar metalized for the circular polarization at microwave region. The manipulation efficiency is capable of approaching the theoretical upper limit. To achieve the high efficiency, first we have to work on the efficiency of the unit cell. Here the complementary structure of the use lot is adopted. One can see the coupling efficiency can be calculated to be about 20% in the light gray region, which is relatively high compared with the current result and almost reached the theoretical limit. Second, Pancheratman barrel phase is adopted to achieve the phase discontinuity for the circular polarized incidence. The phenomenon of PB phase arises from the space variant polarization modifications. Here a phase factor is obtained when the polarization changes from the initial state to the final state. The value is twice of the rotating angle of the unit cell. It can be observed that when the unit cell is rotated around the optical X with the step of a 30 degree, the measured phase difference between the cross polarization in the transmitted field agrees with the theoretical value of PB phase exactly. Well, the amplitudes are almost invariant during the rotation. Although the transmission coefficient reduces from 0.5 to 0.4 when the incident angle changing from 0 degree to 45 degree, phase characteristics show little change, which will keep the phase gradient stable on the metal lens. Then we move one step further based on Capasso's work. Here we set phase discontinuities in orthogonal directions on the metal lens. According to Fermat's principle, the variation of the accumulated phase is zero when the variation of the optical path tends to infinitesimal. Then we can derive the pitch angle and azimuth angle for the anomalous refraction and reflection. Finally, the metal lens is fabricated and measured. Here, its thickness is only 0.001 lambda for the working frequency of 10 GHz, which can be considered as the RFC metal lens. It can be observed that the measured far field pattern for the anomalous refraction at 10 GHz agree with the simulation quite well. The anomalous refraction angle measured in the frequency band of 9.5 to 10.5 GHz show also great agreement with the theoretical results. For the most important, the coupling efficiency is measured. For the normal instance, the peak value of the coupling efficiency is as high as 24%. For oblique incidence, the coupling efficiency under the incident of negative 45 degree is still around 15%. It is much higher than the published result working under the cross-polarized wave. So we can see that the planar metal lens proposed in this paper empowers significant reduction in thickness versatile beam behavior and high efficiency simultaneously, which provides a great alternative for the microwave lenses. With subwave lens control of phase and amplitude, it is a promising technology for the feeding network-free microwave system. That's all. Thank you for your attention on behalf of all authors.